All right, so we have a couple of stories to start off the week. It looks like Kevin Harvick is getting back in the race car with help from Bush. Dale Earnhardt Jr. potentially getting the trademark back for the number eight. And today they had a tire test at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the upcoming Brickyard 400. And also, who spun it out? I'm very upset about that. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. Alright, so there's been a couple of stories today starting with that Kyle Larson playoff waiver. Check my previous video on my channel. It probably released not long before this video where I'm going over the decision of Kyle Larson to get the playoff waiver and overall what do I think of the playoff waiver policy. But on this edition of the weekly rundown let's start with this. It looks like Kevin Harvick is getting back into the race car racing a late model in his own series. I'm gonna pull up this picture here it's a very nice looking race car driving Kevin Harvick's number 62. Later this month, he'll be racing this Bush Light late model in his series for his own race team, the Cars Tour at Five Flags Speedway. On June 28th, keep an eye out for Kevin. Let's see how he does in the Cars Tour. We've seen Dale Jr. race a little bit in the Cars Tour, and it's a very tough series. There's a lot of great young race car drivers out there in that series. I'm interested to see how competitive Harvick is able to be. All right, now that that's over and done with, let's get to the next story where we're talking about Dale Earnhardt Jr. potentially getting the trademark for the DEI number eight. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Over the last couple of weeks, this has been discussed on Twitter, on YouTube. If you want to get a good timeline on the events of the number eight, I would check Bray Card's social media as his YouTube channel. He's been really good about keeping up with the timeline for the trademark of the number eight. Well, Dale Earnhardt Jr. on the Dale Jr. download earlier today actually discussed this, the potential of actually getting the number eight DEI trademark back. I'll post a link to the episode in the description, but pretty much what Dale Jr. said, he is interested in getting the trademark for the number eight for DEI, but at the same time, he's perfectly okay with Teresa re-upping the trademark. Because from what it sounds like to Junior that Teresa has first dibs when it comes to the trademark of the number eight, but if she decides to pass on it, Dale Jr. will be getting the number eight DEI trademark back. Dale Earnhardt Jr. didn't give a bunch of information on this. He did say that if he did purchase it, he would like to use the number eight in the late models, maybe even potentially in the Xfinity series if it gets approved by the other owners. But other than that, like I said, did not mention much when it comes to the situation. It sounds like Dale Jr. has been reading everything on Twitter and all social medias and just wants to give his own update and give a little input on what's actually going on behind the scenes when it comes to this trademark. I really like that he gave this update, and I'm re I really hope he's able to get the number eight DEI trademark. I got my fingers crossed, 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 crossed. But we'll have to see. I will be giving updates when we get them. Let's all hope that Junior gets that trademark back from Teresa. Now on to the last story of the day. Today they had a Goodyear tire test for the upcoming Brickyard 400. The return to the Oval at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm super excited, super pumped about going back to the Brickyard. As most of these tests work, you had three drivers, one from each manufacturer. You had Michael McDowell from Ford. You had Denny Hamlin from Toyota. And then you had Kyle Busch from Chevrolet. Well, the difficult season for Kyle Busch continues as he actually wrecked out of his test session wrecking in turn two 
Uh, I'm going to post some pictures of the car right here. Very unfortunate that he wrecked during this test session. I do not know how many laps he exactly got. I haven't seen any quotes, any interviews when it comes to this test, when it comes to Kyle Busch or Michael McDowell. But Denny Hamlin did give this little bit of an interview. I will play a snippet right here as it was posted on to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway social page. Yeah, I mean, I think that, the, you know, this car is actually made better for the oval, in my opinion. I believe that, uh, you know, it's got enough drag where, um, you know, drafting will be a factor when it comes down to it. So Denny Hamlin overall seems pretty happy with the way the car drives around Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And I think a lot of people have been really down about, hey, this is just not going to race good. The Indy Oval just doesn't race good with stock cars. And that's all the conversation, all the talk I've been hearing ever since they announced this. But let's look at a track like Pocono. Pocono has never put on the greatest racing. It's always been a strategy sort of track. And I would say now it still doesn't put on the greatest racing. But you have noticed the racing has dramatically improved at Pocono Raceway over the last couple of years with the next gen car. Well, Pocono and Indianapolis Motor Speedway have a lot of similarities. They're very similar racetracks, and I could see Indianapolis potentially being more racy than Pocono Raceway, mainly because of the way the turns are. So these comments made by Denny Hamlin right here made me even more excited for the Brickyard 400. I cannot wait until these drivers are back racing across the bricks in Indianapolis. But give me all your thoughts below. What do you think about Kevin Harvick returning to the racetrack? What do you think about Dale Earnhardt Jr. potentially getting the DEI number eight trademark back? And are you excited for the Brickyard 400? I know I am. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.